Yo, 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 what's up? It's your boy Suki here at the Icon TV headquarters in Brooklyn. Today we're going to be interviewing Can't Stop Adson. Welcome to Icon TV, where we bring local artists to the world. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Suki here with Icon TV. Today we're gonna be interviewing Can't Stop Atson. How you doing, bro? What's going on, baby? How you feeling? Doing good. Bottom we walking, start when we talking. Hang out the whip, never miss it. Help me the clip. Can't stop Atson. Can you tell us what you do? Be honest, man. I do it all, man. I started rapping by myself. Uh, made my own brand. Had a clothing brand going. Uh, started throwing shows. Based like an entrepreneur, if you think about it, man. You gotta do more than one thing to get famous. How does Brooklyn influence your music? I grew up in Greenpoint, Brooklyn. Being from Brooklyn influenced basically my whole life on how I think, how I act, what I do. And just everything. I got Brooklyn tattooed all over my body, all of that stuff. But um, that's basically who I am. Brooklyn made me. No cake years, night time, left to ride around with my right hand in a couple pounds. Tins dark on my window down. You can't see me, but I'm all around. Can't stop. I sniff if it's hand down, then it's man down. Yeah. Well, I love your videos. Yeah, super fire, it. super fire. Can you tell us about the McChapo song in the video? I love that hook too. Oh, good looking, bro. Yo, so McChapo, that, that was pretty much the turning point of my whole career in, in the music. Um, that, that ended up building like my own brand is could be because because of that video, because of the McChapo video. Yeah, I mean, we had all of our masks. That, that ended up being on my image now. It's so, like every performance, I would come out with a Jason mask. Wow. People, yeah, and then I, I started buying the Jason mask, you know, writing my Can't Stop team on it, making designs, and selling the mask. Um, we were lighting shit on fire. We had a whole bunch of, you know, motorcycles was out there, badge chains, all that good stuff. I try to be as entertaining as possible, you know what I mean? Can you tell us more about your other brands and the things you're working on? I love music. I love the, the passion about it, everything like that. But in all in all, we're trying to do this to make money, you know what I'm saying? And I have fun doing it. So what I did was I started building a clothing brand. I've been doing this since I'm 16. Like I bought my own t-shirt printer, my own, everything you think of, we bought the own and started doing it ourselves. I used to put only my name on the, on the because Adson, that's my last name too. You know, it's my rap name, it's also my last name. So when I, was, when I first started doing music, a lot of people like didn't want to wear my name. They think, oh, who are you? Why, why would I wear your name on, on my shirt? So what I did was I made the Can't Stop. And the Can't Stop is something like, it's a lifestyle. You can't stop, you can't stop me doing anything. You know, that's, everyone can relate to it in a way. So I started putting the Can't Stop on the shirt, came up with a dope logo. And then I started putting it on t-shirts and sweatshirts and, and I started, you know, my merchandise started booming. And what we did was, now we turned it into different logos. I started collaborating with different, um, different entrepreneurs as well. What I do is I try and brand myself because most big artists have brands and, and uh, people don't really know that, but Jay-Z had Rockefeller, you know, Drake has OVO. Stuff like that is bigger than the music because if someone doesn't like your music, they can still like the clothing or they can like your brand, so they'll like you, you know what I'm saying? And also, if they don't like your music and they like who you are as a person, they're still gonna listen to you, you know what I'm saying? So it goes hand to hand with what you gotta do. So what's your favorite thing about being an artist and a creative? I got this song called James Avery, right? And it's so cliche, so simple, but people go crazy. It goes, Every single time I put this on, it's a mosh pit everywhere we go, and everyone just screaming, fuck it, I'm trying to get rich. That's just crazy. So that's the best, my favorite thing about being an artist, bro. I love it. So can you tell us a little bit about, you know, what do you think about white rappers in general, like how they're, how they're viewed in the game? I had to kind of get over this fact that I am a white rapper and just like, like, just do what I do. You can't please everybody. So I just do what I do and like, I really don't, just don't give a fuck anymore. Like, they don't like me, they don't like me. It can work in, in a, in a, it's an advantage for me, but it isn't an advantage. I think Eminem said one of the words, if he was black, he would have sold half. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, if it's going to work, it's going to work. If it's not, who knows? You know what I'm saying? So I just go with the flow and do what I got to do. Fuck it, I'm trying to get rich. Fuck it, I'm trying to get rich. All right, Aston, thank you so much for coming by and let us interview, but you know you can't leave without giving us a dope freestyle, bro. Let's do it. I'd rather speak to Pablo Escobar than Donald Trump, and I'd rather have a couple million in a lump sum. 
Work got my mind feeling caged in. The government got us prisoners with paychecks to cover the bid. Financial freedom got me feeling. One percenters are the demons. If they're seeking for some speakers, I'm the one that they've been needing. You probably won't bump this because it don't got a hook. But your bump cocaine, the high got you hooked. Well, I'm higher and I'm flyer. See my face all on the flyer. Talking down, but you admit it. I'm the one that you admire. And if you're KKK, get KO today. Swat that swat to go with Shaq shoes and have you swallow grenades. These crazy crooked crackers got me fucked up. So don't you dare put me in the bracket with these dumb fucks. I play ball in the projects. Brooklyn is my mindset. Puerto Rican wifey and my kids are Spanish. Can't believe my eyes the way the game is played. Nowadays, people use their Instagram as resumes. No degrees, they use their likes as their talent. But the followers on your page are more than your bank account balance. Can't stop batting, man. Icon TV.